25 lakh rupees. That's what a few college students won in the last Solana Hackathon. And in this video, we'll talk to some of these winners from the last Hackathon, understand how you can participate in the current Solana Hackathon, what are the prize monies, what are the various tracks, and what projects you can build to be one of the winners in the coming Solana Hackathon. With that, let's get right into the video. So to begin with, what is Solana? Solana is one of many layer one blockchains, but the special thing about them is that they're very bullish on hackathons. They do these big hackathons twice a year and a bunch of winners from these hackathons end up becoming real businesses. They end up winning prizes and raising funds to actually build businesses. The current hackathon, the deadline for which is 15th of October is currently underway. Their current hackathon is called Hyperdrive and these are the tracks that you can create a project in in case you want to participate. Before we discuss project ideas, let's take a step back and understand how you should build your project, how much you should focus on coding and what things you should do other than coding in case you want to succeed in this hackathon. The first thing to keep in mind for any hackathon is to understand the motivation behind the hackathon. Specifically for the Solana hackathon, the motivation is to bring a lot of people on chain. So if you're trying to build an idea, other than the code, you should heavily focus on how this project can eventually bring a lot of people on chain or how this project is extremely novel, hasn't yet been built and specifically really fast blockchains like Solana are the only place where such a use case can be built. When you decide on a project idea, the next step is one, writing the code for it that would involve writing the smart contract in either Rust or C because those are the two languages in which you can write a smart contract on Solana. And the second thing is to create a front end for it. During the hackathon phase, the contract can be very simple. You a lot of times don't even need a smart contract. All you need is a front end and the focus should be to build a very nice MVP of the final product. You don't have to build the whole thing, but you have to show a nice vision for the final thing that you're building. As I said, the motivation for Solana is for these projects to become real businesses in the future. So you need to project that in your pitch and you have to show a path of how this can become a real business even after the hackathon. Another thing to always keep in mind during hackathons is taking a look at who are sponsoring the hackathons because a lot of times the sponsors of the hackathon want something built on them or using them. And there are some specific prizes that are restricted for those sponsors. So when you are going through a track, try to go through who the sponsor for that track is and maybe try to integrate them into your final project. With that, let's go through a few tracks and discuss a few project ideas that you can build for the upcoming Solana Hackathon. So if you look at the Hyperdrive page, you will see that the grand prize is of $50,000, which is presented by AWS. So the first thing I would do if I was participating is try to build some sort of use case using AWS. A few projects that I can think of are number one, what if you could let people access EC2 instances or other AWS resources by paying for them through Solana? This is a real problem because a lot of people don't have access to debit or credit cards and AWS gates sign up using credit cards. I saw this during my course when I was teaching about AWS. A lot of students were not able to get access to even the free tier machines of AWS because they did not have a credit card. Now, since EC2 does give you a free tier of instances, wouldn't it be nice if a few people could put up some Solana as collateral, use those free EC2 instances, and then in case they've not exceeded their limit, they can get their money back. In case they have exceeded their limit, the money would simply debit from their Solana account and they don't have to actually pay via INR or US dollars. That's idea number one. And the second idea would be letting users deploy RPC nodes on AWS with a single click. That would most probably mean building an image on the EC2 marketplace and allowing any developer who wants to bring up an RPC node with a click of a button being able to do that on AWS. Now, if you don't know what RPC nodes are, they are basically machines that let a lot of end user crypto applications interact with the blockchains. So most companies require these RPC servers. And since in this case, we're trying to promote slash build on AWS, giving them a single button to do it would be a great addition to the AWS ecosystem. That's idea number two. And these are things I would build if I was building to impress AWS. Next, let's look at a bunch of other tracks. These are the tracks in the current hackathon. And whenever you click on a track, you can see who is sponsoring that specific track. And if you can integrate them somehow, it's usually a plus point. One of the hot tracks this year will definitely be AI. So a few ideas you can build are one, building some sort of a chat GPT plugin. It could be a plugin that lets you explore the Solana blockchain. It could be a plugin that lets you talk to an LLM and understand 
a specific wallet address. So you go to ChatGPT, turn on the plugin and you can ask questions like, hey, can you give me the net worth of this particular person? Or hey, how much Solana do they own? Or hey, when was the last time this specific user traded a certain NFT? If you can create a chat GPT plugin that lets simple normies talk to the Solana blockchain, I think it will be a pretty solid idea. Might even win if the implementation is pretty good. Another AI idea I can think of is currently generative AI is on the boom. What if you could create a platform that lets users one, generate an image, two, convert them into NFT, three, list them on a marketplace. This can become a marketplace of its own, but to keep things simple, what are the two things you need to do? Number one, you need to integrate with some sort of a generative AI model that lets you generate an image given a prompt. Number two, you need to be able to put that image on chain and create an NFT around it. That's a decent V1 and then you need to just present it the right way. Last idea, which is an idea pretty close to me, would be DCAing into NFTs. What that means is allowing people to buy NFTs by dollar cost averaging into them. What does dollar cost averaging mean? It means keep buying the asset over a specific period of time again and again so that if the market fluctuates too much, your net exposure to the fluctuation isn't too much. What if there's a very nice NFT, for example, Mad Lads, and you know it fluctuates a lot. It goes up and down very often. What if you could say, hey, I need to buy 10 Mad Lads over the next one year. Here are $5,000 please dollar cost average into it, which would mean it would buy a Madlet at certain intervals. And as the price goes up and down, by the end of the year, you'll have an average entry point into buying that NFT. I think there are a lot of tools that let you dollar cost average into Bitcoin and Ethereum. I haven't seen too many that let you DCA into NFTs. And considering the NFT market is very down right now, I think this might be a good time to build something like this. It's a solid use case that I feel will probably get used from day zero. That's five ideas. Now let's talk to a few hackathon winners from last year and understand how they built it, how they pitched it, and how they won a lot of money. Let's get into the next part. Let's get into the next part. All right. Iske baad Sabir ka interview hai yaar, jo ladka hai, uske baad teen logon ka aur shayad interview hoga nahi hoga. And that's it. All right. So we have our first interviewee with us, Sabir Khan. Sabir, how are you? Uh, I am fine, sir. How are you? Arey sir, mat bolao yaar. I am doing well. You are part of the cohort, right? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm part of perfect. Part. So yeah, let's talk about your Solana journey. So should we begin? Karte How did you uh, find about the hackathon that you won? Maybe let's take a step back. Uh, when did you win the hackathon and how much money did you guys win? Yeah, so actually uh, the hackathon started in uh, February 2023. Mm -hmm. uh, it was around that time only. And it was uh, like, uh, I got to know about it through my big bro. Uh, he was like a pretty active in Tanmay Bhatt's YouTube channel, so he like uh, he discovered like uh, there is something uh, like hackathon is starting, Rizithon and all. And he like suggested me like currently I'm in my seventh sem, but at that time uh, when my brother like introduced blockchain to me, I was in my fourth sem. So I was doing uh, Ethereum that time, but in in my fifth sem, like uh, I started uh, diving into Solana and all, but I didn't like focus much on it. But uh, then the Grizzlython came and uh, I was like, my brother told me to like participate and be more serious here. So uh, I like started looking for like partners for teammates. And my first aim was to like get into Super Team. Yeah. Uh, I will be very honest, but I just wanted to like get involved in Super Team. So I started looking for like partners. Then there I found one person and then we teamed up and also like uh, Along the way, we found two more devs and uh, we started building around that time. And it was like uh, for four weeks or six weeks, I don't exactly remember, but it started in Feb and it ended on March 14. And the result came on around April. And like, yeah, so we were building like Splitware. Uh, it is like currently still in the uh, building, uh, beta launch soon. Like they are building like some shift are there, but yeah. Uh, it is in the process so we won like around uh, second prize uh, we won like 25k usd correct so you won twenty five thousand dollars over a span of you said you built the application for four to six weeks yeah, yeah. got it amazing uh, could you elaborate a very high level how much contract work did you guys write how much uh, front end how much back end yeah so during the hackathon period uh, we didn't write much of it uh, we started from like uh, there was one guy in backend. He wrote entire like a uh, smart contract, and two of us were working on frontend. So 
mostly we, we like completed we we shifted two to three ideas like there there was one uh, we firstly decided to build chrome extension then we shifted our idea to like build xnft so around that we have built the front end for both but smart contract was built by that other guy so uh, product was not fully complete but yeah the prototype was complete got it awesome and did you also as you said did you already know about solana and if not uh, who introduced you to solana yeah so uh, as i told you my my brother was the one to like told me to uh, learn about solana but uh, from super team uh, are you seeing i hope you know him mm -hmm. uh, he he like he, he is like kind of mentor to me and he introduced like all solana to me he like uh, guided through all the like to what to do and what to like proceed with what course to like build space course and that sol dev course he like provided me and like he was there for to like help me if if i get stuck somewhere so cool. he was the one that, that like helped me to got it awesome so how did you pitch your project to solana and uh, how did you differentiate yourself from everyone else yeah so first thing is like uh, you shouldn't build like directly uh, you should like get to know your users first like if you have some ideas so you you should like first go on twitter and like some other peeps to like uh, like confront your ideas and all and that's the first thing we did and after that uh, like uh, we were mostly like uh, focusing on like uh, getting review from our seniors correct and yeah so mostly these two the main thing that i remember and yeah the other parts were done by my team so i don't exactly remember correct last question is uh, have you participated in other hackathons on site hackathons virtual hackathons yeah so as as i told you like i was I I also won Opus only possible on Solana also. Right. Uh, and I have participated in ETH India also that Correct. by that failure. And also in college events also I participated. I have won that like some of it and some of them are, I have not like made it to the final list. But yeah, I do have participated. Yeah. Got it. Awesome. So I think that was super insightful. Thank you, Sabir, for coming on the call. It's great talking to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. So hi, Anush. How's it going? Uh, hi, it's going well. Uh, I'm actually at the Mumbai Hacker House right now. Oh, nice. Uh, so what's happening? There anything? Anything cool? Anything nice that's happening? Uh, yeah, like uh, you know, a lot of people have uh come here to like you know learn about Sudana and stuff. Uh, right now I'm actually working on uh my project Tiny Dancer, which is uh you know what we had built at Crazyton. Uh, and uh, we we've been like funded by Sudana Foundation to. uh keep building it uh it, so the people who don't know about what is uh, it's uh, a light client for the solana blockchain uh, for it was the first light client uh ever built for the blockchain yeah got it uh, so yeah let's elaborate on that so you said you built that during grizzly thon which was like the last solana hackathon so could you share uh, how did the idea come to you uh yeah so uh, you know like before uh, grizzly thon like we we were sort of just generally looking at uh, what are the problems in the solana ecosystem uh and like you know kind of uh, what are the you know pain points like glaring pain points in the solana ecosystem uh and uh you know i had come across a lot of uh these bridge hacks uh like i had seen that formal was hacked uh and i was wondering like why there is no uh, sort of uh you know uh you know better system for building bridges compared to like what formal was using which is the basically like having a trusted set of you know people who you know sign off on all the transactions uh so that's when i came across the idea of light clients uh so in other ecosystems there are light client bridges uh which are more secure than you know these guardian based systems uh and that's when i actually started look into uh, building you know solana like trust minimized light client bridge but uh there was no light client for solana so i i was just like you know that's kind of weird because the light client is very important for a blockchain because you need to be able to verify uh what you know the data you're getting if, if it's valid or if the transaction is valid uh, uh so we you know without that it's kind of in kind of incomplete uh because you know uh if an rpc gives you some data uh that's uh you know uh, malicious right uh, that's uh you know goes against the ethos of blockchains uh and rpcs can get hacked it happened to polygon uh some time back uh so i that's kind of what uh, you know inspired uh this project uh and that's when we started researching about it and grizzly thon was like uh you know good timing for us because 
it gave us uh like you know like motivation to like uh you know build it within like build an mvp within like one month so we just started you know building it and uh we also took advantage of the hacker houses so we went to vietnam uh we've met some of the sarana devrils there uh you know we we talked with them uh briefly about it and they also helped us a little bit so uh that's when we built the mvp and uh, you know we submitted the hackathon got it and you guys uh got a certain prize in the hackathon right you guys were what in what track again i'm sorry yeah so we we saw uh, submit in the infrastructure track and we won the fourth place there uh and the prize was i think 15000 got it that's amazing and uh so are you doing this full time now and you're in college right Yeah, I'm in first year, and yeah, I'm basically doing this all day. Oh, got it. Okay, great man. Uh, so, could you elaborate a little on how did you meet your team and how did you divide responsibilities? Who's technical, who's not technical? What did you guys do? Uh, yeah. So our our team is actually very small, just three people. Uh, so uh, like I am like sort of uh managing uh you know sort of everything. Uh, but I am more on like the technical side. uh like uh i did all the technical development uh my like you know uh partner who, who i'm doing this with harsh uh he is also on the technical side but he's more on the uh research side specifically like uh, the cryptography research uh and then we have uh one person who handles like uh all the you know communication like reaching out bd uh and uh you know finance stuff uh, uh so all of the everything that's like non technical we sort of uh you know offload it to him he does a, he's a, he does a great job at it and uh, all the technical stuff is like handled by the two of us yeah got it amazing um and if you have any advice for anyone who's applying now that there's just one month left uh, what would you tell them uh i i would say like uh you know I, actually like in a, in a lot of uh, hackathons uh you know uh, like a lot of the previous hackathons uh you people have built uh like there, there have been winning projects that have like not uh you know uh like uh not started like very uh like from from the beginning right you could just be like in the last two weeks you could actually build something uh that is like really popular uh in fact like there was this one person uh like who i'm, I'm not sure if he's submitting the hackathon but there was this one person who built something called soul link which is basically like linkedin uh but on solana uh where like you you can like literally pay the ceo of solana to to like read your email uh like kind of like a better version of cold emailing and he built that in like 3 days and within like 2 weeks i think he he had like 5000 dollars in like revenue already uh so uh you know even if you just like have 2 weeks i think you can build something great uh but like what's more important is like uh building something that people want uh talking to the community whether they like actually like it or not you know uh and uh that's like the benefit of solana community that they are very helpful uh it's like a very small community compared to like ethereum uh so and they're very practical so like you can you should talk to them uh see what's working what's not and get them on your side like you know get them to like lobby for you uh and if you build a product that's like they that they like i think they'll just do that for you and that's what happened for us uh like the you know our product was like you know like so much that everyone was tweeting about it and that's actually what helped us convince uh you know uh the foundation uh and other you know like people like super team and all to like give us a grant because even they saw that this is something that people this is a product that people actually want to use all right yeah that makes a lot of sense uh, that's really right thank you so much anush for coming on and yeah all the best with uh, tiny dancer